Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir Enchev and in this video I'm going to show you how to sort, filter and page your data using Radzen. Let's start with an empty application with single page and a data source bound to SQL Server Northwind database. To connect to SQL Server database, MySQL database or PostgreSQL database, Radzen is using all data as a service layer. Each table, view and store procedure is exposed as a method. Let's invoke a data source method to Northwind database to check what kind of parameters this method have. I'm going to use orders. As you can see, there are parameters for filtering, paging, sorting, expand and select records. And we can use these parameters to get the records we need. For example, let's get top 10 records from orders. Or we can skip 10 records and get top 20. Or we can order by order date. For complex queries like filtering, you can use Query Builder to add desired filters like order ID equals or order date less than some date and etc. You can add row filter expressions but you need to know all data syntax like order id equal 3. You can also nest filter expressions and change filter operator. You can add also sorting order date descending. Let's clear all this and bind a data grid component. Drag and drop data grid to the page and add new data source using new data wizard. Get orders. When you check customer, employee and shipper to be included for the order, Radzen Wizard will actually set expand parameter for the data service. When you turn on paging, sorting and filtering, the wizard will create event handler for load data event for the data grid and will bind data source method get orders arguments to the data grid event arguments. Let's remove some of the columns to generate the grid and observe the event handlers. You can check the grid event handlers from events tab. Here is the invoke and as you can see you have everything needed for paging expanding of records, filtering and sorting. Let's now run the application to check the result.
you can sort page and filter your data without writing a single line of code. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.